Police in a section of Philadelphia are now urging business owners to prepare for possible civil unrest when the Chauvin trial comes to a close. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live in Port Richmond with that story. Matt. Hey, Jess, police here in Port Richmond are worried there will be some sort of civil unrest like looting, regardless of the outcome of the Chauvin trial. It's leaving some businesses on high alert. To be prepared, you know, it may happen again. Workers here at Rotana Furniture in Port Richmond are now considering boarding up the store's windows again and even removing some inventory in its showroom after 24th District Police put out a warning about potential civil unrest. We don't hope it don't go that chaotic like the last time. Security video from October shows alleged looters walking out with whatever they could take. Police say looters ransacked more than 200 stores in just a few days in October, including the Walmart, Target, and many others in Port Richmond. It happened after Walter Wallace Jr. of West Philly was armed with a knife and walked toward police before he was fatally shot by two officers. Now amid the Derek Chauvin trial in Minnesota, Philadelphia's 24th Police District held a meeting with more than 60 businesses last week, along with State Representative Joe Hohenstein. This particular corridor, Aramingo Corridor, that is part of two very distinct um, neighborhoods racially will not be a focal point of this type of activity again. Police in the 24th District are implementing a color-coded email alert system to notify businesses of potential unrest. Stores are also being urged to hire private security together, but citywide security plans have not yet been released, and Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney is being tight-lipped. Certainly we're talking and planning and Hopefully the case will go the way it should go. Still officials here in Port Richmond tell us that they're still planning for other measures in case of any civil unrest like blocking exits off 95 to make sure people can't make a quick getaway. Live in Port Richmond, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you.